Hi everybody, this is Seth from MindForge Technologies and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the in, the basics of Photoshop and just kind of give you a little breakdown of what makes it awesome and what makes it better than Microsoft Paint. Uh, so here we go. Let's boot it up. Do, do, do. Okay. So on the left side of the screen, you'll have, oh, this is version 7.0 of Photoshop, by the way. Uh, there are later versions, but uh, they're pretty similar, so it doesn't quite matter that much. Now on the left side of the screen, you'll have your toolbar here that's got all your little, nice little tools. Uh, so what we'll start with, we'll go to the File menu, open up a new file, and when you open up a new, a new image file, you can name it. You can uh, pick some sizes, or you can put in your own size in terms of pixels. Um, pick what you like. We're going to go with RGB color, so it's not in black and white. And we'll make the background white. So hit OK. So we have a nice uh, blank canvas here to work with. All right. Now, what makes Photoshop amazing is the ability to use layers. If you look on the right side of the screen here, we have the Layers tab and we only have the background right now. So we want to make a new layer. So we say layer, new, layer. Alright, so now we have the background and we have layer 1. So, I'm going to just kind of make some squiggles here with my paintbrush, right? And maybe I'll select the paint bucket tool here and I click on the foreground color set it to red and I can just dump that into the middle of that shape there now what I just drew is only on layer one it's not a part of the background so if I have layer one selected and I move over here and select the move tool I can click and move it around and it doesn't affect anything but that layer now, to further illustrate this point I'll go to layer, new, and I'll make another layer, layer 2. Okay, so now we see layer 2, layer 1, background. So I'm going to select layer 2, and I'm going to select a circle area, and I'll just fill it in black, and select, deselect. Okay, so now if I go to the move tool, I have layer 2 selected, and if I drag around my circle, it moves by itself. Click on layer 1, that moves by itself. Now as you can see, layer 2 is listed before layer 1. What that means is that layer 2 will be displayed as if it's above layer 1. So the circle's on top of the red shape. So if I click and hold on layer 1 and drag it up, now suddenly it's on top of the circle. So as you can see, this is pretty powerful when it comes to image manipulation because you can break things down into layers and edit one element at a time. And you can change things as much as you like without having them negatively affect anything else. All right, so just a few other functions with layers. Uh, what we can do with layer one, if we right click on it, it brings up a, a list of options of things we can do. So let's say we want to uh, duplicate this red shape and then flip it around the other side so that it looks like this black circle has funky antlers. So we can right click on it, on layer 1, duplicate layer, hit OK. Now we have a second layer, layer 1 copy. We can drag this over, but it's backwards. So if we go to the edit menu, this will, if we go to the transform area down here, this would allow us to transform this layer or this shape as much as we like. So we'll just say flip horizontal. And there you go. Now you've got some kind of freakish moose. Okay, so we'll delete these. And we'll go to a little bit of basic text manipulation. 